Today we're going to take a look at working with equations. We're going to start today by talking about um, addition and subtraction. And so we're going to talk about these two properties of equality. The one is the addition property of equality. And basically it says if you start with two numbers that are equal and add the same number to both sides, then the left and right sides of the equations remain equal. Um, and the same thing is true of the subtraction property. The subtraction property says if you start with two numbers that are equal and then subtract the same number from both sides, then it remains equal. And here, here's one way to think about it. Um, uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with seesaws and playgrounds, but basically um, a seesaw will stay perfectly balanced if you have an equal weight on both sides. So let's say I have five pounds on both sides. If I add one pound on the, the left side, that's going to make the left side heavier and it'll pull it down. But if I add one pound on the right side, it'll keep it balanced. So that's kind of the idea here. Whatever we do to one side of the equation, whether it's adding a number or subtracting a number, we need to do it to the other side of the equation as well. So let's take a look at some examples here. Um, taking a look at these examples. Um, here we can see that we have x minus 3 equals 9, and we want to do the opposite of subtract 3 to both sides of the equations, which is add 3. So I'm going to have x, um, let me fix this, we're going to have x minus 3 plus 3 equals 9 plus 3. And adding 3 and subtracting 3 are inverse operations. They undo each other. They add to 0. So we're just left with x equals 12. And you can always check your equation by substituting the number in here. If we put 12 in here, we'd have 12 minus 3, which does equal 9. Um, this one, we need to undo subtract 6, so the opposite of subtract 6 is to add 6. So I'm going to add 6 not only to the right side of the equation, but also the left side of any, the equation. And I know at this point you're thinking, well, why do I need to show my work? This is very simple. And it's true, these are very simple compared to some of the other ones we're going to look at. And that's actually why it's important to show your work, to get used to showing your work, because on more complex equations, you'll want to show your work so you can find errors that you might make. So just like the plus 3 and minus 3 canceled here, the plus 6 and minus 6 canceled here, and we have negative 1 equals x, although a lot of people don't like to have the x on the right-hand side, so they'll use a symmetric property and rewrite this as x equals negative 1. On this last one, we're going to just, or the second to last one, we're going to distribute the negative sign here, take the opposite of what's in the parentheses to begin with. So we're going to have 9 minus x plus 6 equals negative 5. And now I'm going to combine the 9 and the plus 6. So I'm going to have negative x plus 15 equals negative 5. And then I'm going to undo the plus 15 by subtracting 15 from both sides. So I'll have negative 5 minus 15 on the right, and negative 5 minus 15 is negative 20. Here the plus 15 and minus 15 are inverse operations, so they cancel each other out. And so we have negative x equals 20, but we don't want negative x, we want x. This is saying the opposite of our answer is negative 20, and that means that our actual answer is positive 20. And then this last one involves the absolute value. So we want to get x by itself, just like in all these other equations, we got x by itself. So what I'm going to do to get x by itself is I'm going to do the opposite of subtract 8 to both sides of the equation, which is add 8. So on the right-hand side, I have 6 plus 8, which is 14. Those are inverse operations, negative 8 and positive 8 are going to cancel each other out. So we have the absolute value of x equals 14. And there's two numbers that when you take the absolute value of it, you get 14, and that is either positive 14, or our other possible answer is that x equals negative 14, because the absolute value of 14 would be 14, and the absolute value of negative 14 would also be 14, and 14 minus 8 does give us 6. So now uh, make sure you go on to tinyurl. 
uh, to do your survey to see if you understand how to solve basic uh, equations involving addition and subtraction.